Edward Sheldon Sunday the 14th of January the 2018 image public domain last weekend we published an article of mine entitled how to invest if you only have 1000 pounds it was a popular piece indicating that many readers are probably just getting started in the investing world with that in mind today i am taking the concept further i am revealing exactly how i would invest 1000 pounds if i was just starting out right now here are my thoughts two challenges if i was finding a home for my first investment cash today there are two main challenges i would want to overcome the first which i explained last weekend is diversification i wouldn't want to invest last weekend we published an article of mine entitled how to invest if you only have 1000 pounds it was a popular piece indicating that many readers are probably just getting started in the investing world with that in mind today i'm taking the concept further i'm revealing exactly how i would invest 1000 pounds if i was just starting out right now here are my thoughts two challenges if i was finding a home for my first investment cash today there are two main challenges i would want to overcome the first which i explained last weekend is diversification i wouldn't want to invest in only one stock that would be quite risky for example let's say i had bought shares in telecommunications company bt group this time last year i'd now be 30 percent down on my investment i would want to avoid that kind of situation therefore i'd invest in a fund this would ensure my capital was spread out over many different companies second i'd want to buy stocks that offer good value right now that's a little challenging at present because global markets are at all time highs many shares look expensive we're always told to buy low sell high but that's easier said than done right now a value fund as a result i'd seek out a fund that invests mainly in value stocks these are stocks that are attractively priced and often pay nice dividends i'd avoid funds that are heavily focused on growth stocks as many faster growing companies have become expensive in the last few years an equity income fund would satisfy my requirements these kinds of funds invest in dividend paying companies that are generally trading at reasonable valuations they aim to provide investors with regular dividends as well as capital growth there are quite a few equity income funds available in the uk i'd want one with a low annual fee because fees can add up over time how i'd get started to get started i'd set up an account with investment specialist hargreaves lansdowne its platform is really easy to use from there i'd browse through the list of wealth 150 and wealth 150 funds these are its top rated funds that have very low fees i'd search for a uk equity income fund there are currently nine funds listed from there i'd pick a fund neil woodford's equity income fund is listed so that would be an option i like his top four holdings of astrazeneca imperial brands legal general and lloyds bank there's some serious value there but some of his other holdings are a little unorthodox in my opinion and the fund has only returned seven percent in two years as a result i might pick one of the others available such as the j o hambro uk equity income fund its top holdings are royal dutch shell hsbc bp and lloyds it's returned over 40 percent in two years and around 80 percent over five years that's an excellent return lastly after choosing a specific fund i'd invest my 1000 pounds in two installments 500 pounds now and then 500 pounds mid-year that way if the stock market pulls back a little in the near term i'll be able to capitalize on the lower stock prices the stock market is a proven long-term wealth generator even if you're only starting out with 1000 pounds now who knows how much your portfolio could be worth in 10 years time if you play your cards right with that in mind if you're looking to maximize your investment returns it highly recommend reading this exclusive report 10 steps to making a million in the market the report spells out exactly what you need to do to build up your portfolio through stock market investing to access your free millionaire report today simply click here edward sheldon owns shares in royal dutch shell imperial brands lloyd's banking group and legal general group the motley fool uk has recommended astrazeneca bp hsbc holdings imperial brands lloyd's banking group and royal dutch shell b views expressed 
on companies mentioned in this article are those of the writer and therefore may differ from the official recommendations we make in our subscription services such as Share Advisor. Hidden Winners and Pro. Here at The Motley Fool we believe that considering a diverse range of insights makes us better investors.